<clears throat> Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing in my longtime loyal subscriber. Uh, he sent me a donation to the channel, but I've been traveling, and this was, fuck, 10 days ago, 12 days ago, and my deepest and serious apologies, and I'm embarrassed, ashamed, for Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, for VGCINews.com, and for Michigan Snow Forecast, gold standard, we're better than this, and we'll never let it happen again, that I waited so long to see that he donated to the channel, my man, uh, Mag Store, but I believe it was, I forgot his name, he's been a long time supporter and follower of the channel, he wanted some TA on Porn Rocket, and it looks like you gotta buy wrapped BNB to swap, to buy this coin. As I smoke a little hashish at Volta, and I deepest my apologies uh, to you. I wasn't trying to fleece and heist your money or anything like that. I just did not see it until just now as I've been traveling back to Central Illinois, as you know from the updates. And I did not see it, and I, I'm better than that, and I apologize wholeheartedly for that. But we're going to go from the swing low to the swing high at current price. And let's see what we got. Let's go to today's price, which looks to be about right there. We got to get to the high, which looks to be about, I always forget that, damn it. We got to go up here on today's price to the high, which was about there. And then we got to make sure we're on the low. And we are perfect. And then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make this green since it's our first one. And I just like the color green. It's my favorite color. So we're going to make it green. Now, again, I apologize. BNB is a fairly new coin. And probably when he, no, eh, he, he might have asked me about it here somewhere. It's been about 10 days. So the price already came. Hopefully it was after the crash. And it wasn't because you were in the coin or something. But this, uh, I believe that's digital asset, Dad. It comes up as something different when he uh, donates. But he's a very savvy investor and swing traders, so I'm not worried that he got locked into some kind of nonsense, right? He knows, he seems to know what he's doing and he has a game plan. And again, I apologize for uh, for not seeing that, but as we dive on and get into this and I stop rambling, you can see in our uh, industry exclusive at Fib Circle, what the moving average is, we're gonna pull up the volume indicator now, and we're gonna drag it from the start to this brief coin back in July till now, and then we're gonna let her go. And you can see where the big volume that's been traded, and I recommend, highly recommend that you guys start setting up a trading, technical trading chart, and this is just the basics right here. Get get a FIP circle, get the volume indicator, right? We can click on these rings because it's kind of, they're too big, we can just dim them out into the background, and then we can even take this, and we can fade it a little bit. See that, this is all a tech, this is all a, uh, a tutorial when I do these charts, right? Just follow along, have your chart out, and have this in the background, and you can start doing what I do, right? And then you can have a technical trading chart so you can fleece, heist, and shice and sidestep the criminal gangster cartel, the ESD, Ohio State University, brother, right? So you see that? We got your volume indicator here, and we're going to put our rectangles that we like to do. And this is going to be a major support zone, right? Right there. From right there bottom of that to right here is a major support zone and that is the get my shit together zone or come on or last line of defense to the shit house right as I like to call it so we're gonna oh we don't want that that's junk oh, come on now there we go we want to go here, and we know the last line of defense or the get my shit together zone is orange, so we're going to make it orange, right? See that? Look how easy that is. Super simple and easy to trade this manipulated market. All right, now we got that. That's a major trading range, digital asset. Dad, this is going to be more of a breakdown, and uh, you can fast forward this if you want to try to get the good points, but we're going to give you a good breakdown here, right? 
and you can see as we zoom out in to try to see how these fib channels have been work or fib circles have been working we'll do some fib channels later we're going to take this and we're going to go with the brightness or no not that not that motherfucker yeah whatever that's fine for right now now that should come up settings there we go Input. Ah, it's fine. We'll leave it. But you can see what we got going on here is as we were coming up into here, right? You can see we hit this and we had a little resistance and then we traded into it and just kind of traded up and along and straight up the moving average. And look at that. As soon as we hit that fib circle right here, the point uh, 3865718, we rode up it, right? Then we came on it. And then we just followed it off it as uh, resistance and then we popped above it in a quick fake out right here right and then we came back down to it traded on it and then broke down and traded straight down to the moving averages and this next ring and then we flushed right and then we got bought back up traded sideways into the moving averages to this just before this next ring it got bought back up and got rejected at the top of this major uh, support zone and got knocked back down to the underneath ring at the 50 percent retracement level and then we got supported off of that and the 50-day uh, moving average and routing got bought straight back up until we got back up to this ring right here and got rejected temporarily. And then we straddled it on top of it as support. So we didn't get rejected. We were holding it as support, confirmed it, had a little hop, and then bang, shot off like a rocket, right? Came all the way back up to this next, almost this next ring up here got rejected and came back down and got supported on the underneath ring so you play the rings then you traded sideways along it holding it as support hit the 50-day moving average bounced traded back down and sideways bullish consolidation at the 50-day moving average pumped and then you got hit this ring again just like you hit it back here right you hit it again right there and then right there and then that initiated the sell-off and it was a quick sell-off and you went right through that ring that you were supported on for a while flush straight through the 200 day moving average all the moving averages the 50 the 100 and the 200 flush through this next ring that you were supported on back here right straight flush through this ring that you were supported on twice flush down to the next ring that you were supported on back here crashed flush straight through the center of this ring all the way down uh with nothing holding it up it was a complete flush and somebody got fleece heisted and shisted in there. And I hope that wasn't back when Digital, I hope Digital Asset Day I wasn't asking me back here. That seems too long ago. I feel like it was more towards the end of October. I hope it was nothing serious and you were just looking for an opinion on the pump or as it was crashing, which you can see with our industry exclusive measuring tool, it had a huge flush, right? I mean, a catastrophic flush if you were in there. That was a 44% flush, right? So somebody got, oh shit. I thought I had this lock. Somebody took it right on the chin there, right? Oh, that's too high up. We want that to go right there. So somebody took that. See, that's why you got to lock them. Somebody took that on the chin. But then if you come back down and you notice, it starts trading on the rings again as we isolate it on this. I told you, it's going to be a it's going to be an in-depth technical analysis video on this beautiful screen. Then we got supported off the 618, pump straight up. Uh, conveniently enough to where the 50 day was and the point uh, five zero Fibonacci retracement traded along that as support and then broke back down but then came back to this 0.618 ring but it's a ring that's trading from the past lower to the future the to the future higher and an up and then it's swinging back right and then he got bought back up got over the 50 in, or the 100 in blue then held the 100 in blue as support and then pumped straight through the 200 in green, straight through this ring, the 0.618, in between the 0.618 and the 0.50 Fibonacci, we traded straight up into that, and then just ran out of steam and traded up and sideways until you cross back into this 0.618 ring. Remember, you first got supported on it right here, all the way back down here, right? Now you're way up here, and you're crossing it again, and it flushed this time, straight through the moving averages, but the moving averages helped to slow it down and sort of round it, and then it traded sideways into this green ring and just traded sideways through this green ring right underneath the 50 and the 100 
uh, using it as those resistances or those moving averages as resistance and then it finally stepped down and then forced it straight down and it was such a violent crash it broke straight through uh, that ring all the way into here right which is conveniently enough a double bottom right there and then let's see what happened to the price action after Oops. let me get off that let's see what happened to the price action after that oh nothing because that's where we're at now in the current price look at that so that's exactly where the current price is and that's why we stopped our ring there right because we're at the current price so now what could happen here is that's a double bottom right it could be right we'll put a little note a price note here we got one right there and we got one right where you're at now you can see it's about the same so you could say this thing's going to try to get some support now and what that would look like is you could come back around here and double bottom a local double bottom and then fight over the 50 right fight over the 200 and keep on going and try to fight back up into this major resistance but I think if you hit that you'd be dead there because I don't I don't I don't know much about this coin but it seems to be drying out and then you would trade sideways until you come into this ring right because this is the major this is gonna act as resistance now if you can bounce from this low and that double bottom right here this is going to be your major upper resistance on any kind of pump. I don't care if it takes tomorrow to get there or three months to get there. That is major overhead resistance as this is where all your selling was. That's why that major box is up there, right? So that's what I would look forward to right there if you can get bought back up. And you can hold this as support based on what we just went over, seeing the chart. We diagnosed this whole chart out from the beginning of this little coin rotating through the fib circle till we're at now so that's a logical spot to where if you can gain some footing you may be able to make a pump oh we already put that up there a pump all the way up to there right get out of there you might be able to pump all the way up to there right and that with our industry exclusive measuring tool would be a 37.69 percent pump and that'd be a phenomenal pump and then you could be selling there right because as soon as you hit this ring up here these rings have been acting as resistance they hit the rings and they crash, right? So if it traded up and then sideways to this ring, you would think it would flush down, right? That's option one. Or option two in this is this is not, as we zoom out in here, this is not a double bottom. And you're going to maybe trade up into this moving averages, the thick of them, right? Because these moving averages are going to be trading down like this, down like that, and down like that. And they're going to act as major overhead resistance. And you could start around the bottom, start to pump up, right? Hit into these moving averages and get rejected and have a huge flush all the way down to this ring. Similar to back here, you got rejected and flushed to this ring. Back here, traded sideways, flushed to this ring, right? And all the other times back here where you crash and flush the ring. If you can't hold this, your next logical target would be way, way down there. I know nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to see that. How did I do that? Oh. No, I'm getting back out. Zoom out. Zoom out. I don't know what I did there. Shit. There we go. How do I zoom the fuck back out of that? Shit. Zoom out, bitch. Hold on, fellas. I don't know what I did there. Yes, leave. It's obviously a disaster. Go back in there real quick. Technical difficulties, and we're 13 minutes into this video, so we're not going to be remaking this. This is a good time to hit some hashish and a mota, right? That's some good shit. And it's always a hashish and bolt up. No yeah yo. No. Yeah yo very bad. <sighs> Alright, let's get back into this. I don't know what happened there. Pull chart. It's awesome about trading view, they save the shit for you. So that, that would be what you would do. You'd come back down to that ring right here, right? And that would be a 
phenomenal loss full price mark that because that is a logical spot that that could flush to and with our industry exclusive measuring tool that would be a 30% 0.69% crash and then that would be a buying opportunity up to what would be with our horizontal ray tool which would be a phenomenal buying opportunity up to there right we'll just move that over here that would be a phenomenal buying opportunity from the ring to up there because that would be your major overhead resistance as that was a major bottoming if this falls right from where it's at now so that's what I would look for in this point and once again uh, my good man that donated to the channel I believe your name is digital asset dad he's a longtime follower one of the original member yes he's an original member of jabroni killer and as soon as we are monetized I will remember all of you that have supported the channel and I will give you a month's free of uh, the jabroni killers where you have all the in-depth technical trading charts uh, on the gold the crypto trading alerts that are on there that are the pattern and how you can I'll pre-set up a pattern for you when I see a chart sifting through the stocks the commodities the cryptos primarily for you guys and women and ladies uh, I will put trading alerts out just like we have with the Shiba where we called the 46% pump on that uh, special trading alert but I'll give you guys all anyone that's donated to the channel I remember who you are I will give you a month's free of jabroni killer as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers and I have that uh, extra added uh, stuff at my disposal to start bringing this content to the channel and the jabroni killer yes jabroni killer uh, when you remember Jabroni Killer, yes, there will be separate section for you as part of that perk, and YouTube has that set up. And I just need to be monetized to unlock those features. And I, each and every one of you, Digital Asset Dad, Ashley Russell, uh, Jerome, uh, who else is there? There's a bunch of you guys. You're all in my email. Some more names will come to me. As I stroll along, and then Ashley, speaking of Ashley, somebody that donates to the channel quite often, you uh, donated to the channel for XRP, and you said thank you for doing the MTV one when you did just a request or a comment. When you comment, Ashley, there's no need to donate to the channel unless you want to and made some money off the TA or something. When you ask for coins in the comments, when I have time, I love to do them. I often scroll through the comment section to see what coins they want uh, the audience would like to, me to talk about and I talk about them but we're gonna go ahead and do this one for you because you are a phenomenal follower and supporter of the channel yes to sidestep the criminal gangsters right I don't know what that's doing out there let's get this shit back in here but let's see what we got going on here it's been a few days since I looked at this coin and we can see the last time we looked at it we're gonna go to the yearly Oh, this is a fairly, uh, oh, is that where it started? Yep, there we go. So that's where the coin started. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra layer now. See, we got our volume indicator. Always, when you're setting a technical trading chart up, let's just make sure this is all right. It is. This is an extensive video. When you're setting a technical trading chart up, you always want to start with the basics. Get that volume indicator up there, right? Gives you something to look at to get an idea. Get the moving averages that you like on there, right? I like the 50, the 100, and the 200. That's just what I like. But you can put what you like, right? The moving average of your choice, right? And get that technical trading start set up. And then I love these fifth circles. They're just phenomenal. And you go from a swing low to the swing high, right? Right up there, right at that candle body and then see what's going on here and see if we can't diagnose something out here right now I like green so we always start with green because it's my chart but your chart you can make it purple orange yellow whatever you want but now if we take a look at this Ashley as this rotated through this fib circle we traded essentially dead through the start of it and then bam got our first little bit of interest right there then we sold off and then we popped hit our first ring the 100% retracement right came down with that one candle back tested it like we always say 
uh, stocks, any stocks on the chart, they like to back test and then rocketed. Got a little big wick, forced down and then shot right through it, all the way up to the midpoint of this volume where it's at, right? And then we got harshly rejected in between the 786 and the 618 uh, retracement levels. And then we crashed all the way down to that 0.786 ring and found our first major support zone in the coin's history, right after it's moved. And we straddled it for a while and then it traded sideways along that ring, the green ring, the 786 uh, retracement level, and then hit the 100 day moving average and, uh, or the 50 day moving average and red and got catapulted and then shot right through, or it got rejected briefly and then shot through the 618 uh, retracement level and then got bought back down. And then it started using the 618 as resistance because it failed the pump and then came back down almost to 786, but the 100 day moving average and got bought back up and then got rejected again on the 618 and then flushed. And look where the wick came down all the way to the 100% retracement, but quickly got bought back up and got rejected again at the 618 and then started to settle down and traded along the 786, dipping underneath it, getting bought back up and staying on the bottom side of it for an extensive period of time through the end of May 2021 for several days several days, even up towards the two weeks, and then it got on top of it, then it was blown and it straddled it. Started straddling after it got bought back up about the 22nd of May, right? Let's clear that out. And what we need to do here is make this smaller. So you can see from about the 20th of May all the way to the 13th of June, it straddled it, then it finally got on top of this with a little bit of volume down there. You see the volume spike? And then it got bought all the way through the 786 to the 618. And then it briefly wicked up to the 50% retracement and then crashed. And then it got below that 618, got rejected and came all the way down. But again, it got supported on the 786. And it straddled that 786 above and below it more more, uh, more often than not below it because the moving average, the 50, the 100, and 200 uh, above it were acting as resistance. But now if you took a look at this from May 16th all the way to August 9th, this 786 uh, retracement level on the fifth circle was where most of the action was going on. That was a significant level, right? And, but it held it and it even held it with a nice bottom and then a double bottom after a pump there. So that could have gave you a sign with this fib circle after this big volume spike. And like we always say, pumping volume, pumping price, bullish, right? After pump, a down and sideways consolidation and crashing volume, very bullish. Often a sign the sellers are being exhausted and a rounding bottom is noticed and the buyers or the bulls are going to take over the market and the price is going to come up. And that's exactly what it did. This is a typical uh, huge pump and then a crash, but it's a down and sideways consolidation with crashing volume. That's exactly what you're looking for. And then right as the volume is almost dead, you start to get some buy volume come back in, huh? right? You get over top of the moving average. The volume continues now to increase as the price pumps and it pumps all the way up into this 50% retracement level uh, as the volume continues to pump and then starts, and that's very bullish as the volume. See, this is the next level when you start looking at the volume, some indicators on the chart, right? And you overlay it and look at it all. Uh, but that's very bullish. See how that's setting up? That's a very bullish setup. And then as we continue to look at this, you can see with the chart, we'll scroll this all the way into here now, the current price, you can see we have a big pump in volume and then we have a big pump in price that's very bullish and then again we have a down and sideways consolidation with crashing volume that was very bullish again but it's not as deep as of a consolidation as uh dead down in volume right so that's a little bit different you got to take notice of that and then but as we get back to our fib, fib circles as we notice the price come back through here, got on top of the moving average, right? Traded sideways, but was using the 50 and that 618 FIB circle as support now, not resistance. It was on top of the moving averages instead of below the moving averages back there. And then it shot up and it shot essentially straight through 
that fit circle all the way up to this channel and then got rejected and then used the underneath uh, 618 line as support, right? And then it got catapulted straight through its next ring right here and its next ring right here. But then it got rejected by the upper ring and quickly whipped back down right to this ring right here. And then traded on it for quite some time and then started trading primarily into this main channel right here of the most traded in this coin, right? It used the moving averages. It used, but see, every time it came up to a ring, if it overshoots the ring, see that it overshoots it, then it comes down in the ring, it overshot and started, it consolidates on it. It did it right there. And then it overshot it, right? Then came back down to the ring, it overshot, and then it consolidated on it for several days to week, right? Does it most times. This one just blew right by it. And by the time it consolidated, these rings are much further apart, right? So the price action moved. So saying all that, I just want to kind of run you through the reasons of reasons for three straight days. You can think, 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 you can